Welcome to the VIP Masterclass Series. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is requested by Penelope, and she says the following. I'm working on the Beethoven Sonata in F minor, Opus 2, number 1, first movement. Um, I'm working on it for an exam in November. The first movement isn't really a technically hard piece, but I'm trying to make it sound beautiful and as close to perfection as I can bring it. I've been listening to Baron Buem playing it beautifully as well. And to that list, I would also add Claude Frank, Richard Good, and Alfred Brendel. They're very famous Beethoven pianists. Brendel's not my favorite, but he's so scholarly and so smart that I would always listen to his recordings. My favorite is Richard Good. Baron Boehm's also a fine pianist. So um, she says, my first question is bar three, five, six, and seven. The semiquavers grouped by three. I tend uh, uh, and semiquavers uh, for those of us in the U.S. Um, are, and, and other countries, I, I don't know all the countries and what they use, but those are 16th notes, so 16th note triplets is what she's asking about. I tend to make them sound like ornaments and play them too fast and swallow the middle notes a bit. I think of playing my finger number two and lift my wrist a bit and it works better, but was wondering if you'd have any advice on that. So I'm going to address these questions as we read them. So yes, I do, and uh, one of my um, Skype students and a new member of VIP as well, Jean, um, had a question about this also. And I also want to hit on bar 11 and 12 and 13 for the same reasons. So it goes like this. So just getting these little, and even these ones up here, those first ones. The key is that number two is not lifting um, fast enough in most instances. Most people do this. So what I would do is I would go to start with. Just really lift those twos and then try all staccato. Then try this. We're going to go lift, and then pedal, and then off in the pedal. Now that's not really good. You know, so I don't want, that sounds bad, but we're just gonna try this method. So we're gonna go lift, okay, now we'll use a little less pedal. Actually, you know what, forget the pedal. Don't, don't even do the pedal, do this. And if you can't get that clarity, go back to slower tempos of finger staccato. Okay, and then. And, t and, and slowly erase that lift until you can do it smooth. Because one thing that I notice is most hands tighten when they hold that and then they go. But if I just say, just do this, most students can do that. It's when they have to connect it. So the key is get rid of that tension and then, and then hold on a little longer until you can do it connected. The key is as soon as you've played that, shake that finger out so that there's no tension. So it's as if you're resetting your hand and doing that. Okay? Uh, another thing that you can do is play add-on. This works for me 100% of the time. Sometimes it takes many days or weeks. Sometimes I get it within a minute. Okay, so if you're having trouble doing this, um, just play the last note, and then the second to last note, and then the third to last note, and then the fourth to last note, and then do all of them. Don't hold that note, just do. And then gradually add more time to the A flat. Until you can do that for any length of time. Additionally, you can do different stopping points. Stopping on the E, you can stop on the F, you can stop on the G, and then go all the way through. That really helps. Apply those exact same concepts in here. And you're going to have to do some substitute fingering in here because it, to connect these. Because that's tricky. Um, the thing that I would focus on again is shaking that hand out and just try 
like on this one, this is for Jean because um, Penelope didn't ask about this, but just do just as mu many times as you need to, okay? Just all while holding this. And if you can't do that, just do and do all those varieties that we just did. And then same thing here. Just do this as many times as you can. So have this down, play that. Same thing here. Okay, and that's a really good way to get that smooth. Okay, next question. She said, bar 69 to 82. I really like the way Baron Boyne makes it sound on this recording, and I definitely listened to it and have some ideas um, for you about how you can get it to sound like him. Um, I was wondering if you could play the passage slowly to show how to voice out each undervoice that brings out the great result he and you would both achieve when playing faster. Okay, so the first thing he does is create... Thank you so much for watching. I've listed two links in the description below. One of them is to download this full video that you've just watched the sample for. The other is to view the entire library of VIP Masterclass series videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.